Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm your friendly pharmacist and today we will be exploring natural antihistamines that can help you find relief in your allergy journey. If you have ever suffered from allergies such as hay fever, you know how uncomfortable they can be with the constant sneezing, itching and runny nose. Conventional medications can help with symptom relief, but sometimes they just don't do the trick. And you may need something extra to help dampen down the allergic response. That's where these supplements come into play. If you are an allergy sufferer, stay tuned till the very end to discover how these natural antihistamines can make a difference in your life. The first supplement on our list today is quercetin, which is an antioxidant flavonoid found in many plants and foods such as onion, apple, berry, grapes and broccoli. Quercetin helps with allergy by acting as a natural allergy blocker. When you're exposed to allergens like pollen or dust, your body releases a chemical called histamine, which leads to allergy symptoms like sneezing, itching and runny nose. Quercetin is like a shield that helps stop histamine from causing these annoying symptoms. It does this by calming special cells in your body called mast cells. Mast cells are like the body's alarm system for allergies, and when they go off, they release histamine. Quercetin tell these cells to stay calm and not release too much histamine, which means you'll have fewer allergy symptoms when you're exposed to allergens. Furthermore, quercetin can reduce the eosinophil count, which are type of white blood cells that get recruited in response to allergy or an infection. These cells release substances that help to control the situation, but sometimes they can become too active and cause problems that can worsen allergy symptoms and inflammation. Quercetin can help by calming down these eosinophils and tell them to not overreact to allergens. Also, it has anti-inflammatory properties which can reduce the inflammation and allergic reaction caused by eosinophils. As mentioned previously, quercetin is found in many food and plants, as well as drinking unfermented green tea and red wine. However, as a large dose is generally required to produce a positive effect on allergies, it is best recommended to take supplements. The recommended dose ranges from 600 to 6000 mg in divided doses on an empty stomach. The second natural antihistamine we're going to talk about is bromelain, which is an enzyme found in pineapples. These enzymes exert anti-inflammatory properties by targeting and breaking down molecules involved in the inflammation process such as kinins and prostaglandin. By breaking down these inflammatory molecules, they help to dampen down the overall inflammatory response. So when you are exposed to allergens, bromelain acts as a firefighter and goes in and puts out the inflammatory fires caused by allergens, making your allergic reactions less intense and more manageable. Due to their ability to reduce inflammatory edema markers, bromelains have the potential to support a variety of skin reactions. It may also help to reduce down airway inflammation in people with asthma. Bromelains have also found to be an effective mucolytic agent in respiratory disease. One study looked at the therapeutic effect of bromelain in 116 children under the age of 11 with acute sinusitis. The duration of symptoms in patients treated with bromelains was 16% shorter than the use of standard therapy. The doses of bromelain are discussed in either milligrams or enzyme activity units known as gelatin dissolving units. The higher the GDU number, the more potent it is. There is no standardized dose of bromelain, but it should be at least 2,500 to 3,000 GDU when used for allergies. It should also be taken on an empty stomach for maximum absorption. The next supplement on our list is vitamin C. Vitamin C, as we all know, is a powerful antioxidant and boosts your immune system to fight off infections. It also acts as a natural antihistamine to help decrease inflammation and swelling at the site of an allergic reaction. However, it doesn't work the same as a conventional antihistamine medication. Vitamin C reduces the amount of histamine release rather than blocking the receptors. To help with allergy symptoms, usually a high dose of up to 2000 mg per day of vitamin C is recommended. Because your body cannot store vitamin C, the excess leaves your body through your urine. When you are taking a supplement, you want to make sure that your body actually uses it. The most important thing when choosing a vitamin C supplement is ensuring you choose the right form. Vitamin C is usually water soluble and is not absorbed very well into our cells where it is most needed. To overcome this, you can get liposomal vitamin C which makes it fat soluble and hence it is more absorbable and bioavailable in the body. The incorporation of vitamin C into liposomes can increase its absorption by up to 85% which makes them the ideal choice when choosing a vitamin C supplement. 
Last but not least, we're going to talk about probiotics and how they can help with our allergies. Probiotics are live microorganisms which confer a beneficial effect on the host. The mechanisms of action are complicated and still not completely defined. However, probiotics seem to have a positive effect on allergic response through several mechanisms. 70% of our immune cells are located in our intestinal tract and our resident gut microbiome not only interacts with the immune system but can help to modulate it. Given this fact, probiotics can have a positive effect on our immune system which can promote immune tolerance which means your immune system is less likely to overreact to harmless allergens like pollen. Probiotics can also help to reduce inflammation in the gut and throughout the body. Lowering the overall inflammation can lead to milder allergic reactions. It can also strengthen the gut's protective barrier, making it less likely for allergens to pass through and trigger allergic responses. There are many different types of strains of beneficial bacteria, but some have been studied more extensively in allergies and show promising results in reducing allergy symptoms. These include Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG, and Lactobacillus casse, also Bifidobacterium lactis, Bifidobacterium infantis, and Bifidobacterium longum. Living with allergies can be challenging, especially when symptoms are at their worst. For the best chance of relief, try to limit or avoid exposure to the allergen. However, there are times when unavoidable exposures can cause sneezing. The use of vitamin supplements can help alleviate symptoms of allergies. A natural approach to allergy season can have a person with the sniffles feeling better in no time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more health related content. Catch you in the next video and as always, stay healthy and stay amazing.